following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gidge, and this is the Art of Politics. The election is over. Hillary won. Trump lost. Now, I have here today Al Baldassaro, as always. But we're going to play a game. Hi, Al. How you doing? Yeah. Now, actually, the election is not over. Right. I agree. It hasn't taken place yet. I agree. Yet. You're lucky I didn't jump over the table. Actually. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Now, what we're going to do, is, and the reason why we're going to do this is this show will not be played till next week after the election. Mm -hmm, right. Okay, so I thought playing the game of Trump won, Hillary won. So like back and forth, like one loss, mm -hmm. one won. Right. Okay, so. Did Hillary leave the country when she lost? Uh, no, uh, that, that's not, that, why don't we try to be positive? Because oh, okay. this thing has been a damn negative thing right from the very yeah, beginning. Yeah, because rumor has it that she may leave the country if she loses because she might get indicted. That's why. <laughs> You know something? Is that part of the game? The problem is you guys put things out like that are just not true. Now, I'm going to give you an example. I okay. said misinformation. A young lady walked mm -hmm. in here two weeks ago. I'm not going to mention her name. And she said, Kane, the vice president okay, for Hillary, mm -hmm. uh, he and his wife were swingers. Yes, right. They, they well... All of a sudden, it comes back and it says, no, that's not factual. Someone not only hacked in, but they put misinformation on. It was mm -hmm. so ridiculous that no one believed it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start with Trump winning. Now, you've got to remember now, this show plays after the election. So we still hate each other politically, but we're going to try to be civil. Can you imagine that? Two politicians, one Republican, one Democrat, and we're going to be civil. We're going to try. We're going to see who's going to be more civil. The more civil is the person who's going to win. Okay? So, uh, would you like to start? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, I did vote for Hillary, and I worked really hard, and, you know, I am a Democrat, and... Uh, what did you do? She lost. So uh, congratulations. Yeah, okay. Congratulations. Yeah, right. Now, do you think, uh, you know, I, and I've said this before, not publicly, he can build a lot of things. I have a feeling he really can negotiate. I think his weakest point is, uh, will, will be foreign policy. What do you think? Who's debate on foreign policy? Uh, Trump's? I, Trump I, won. Trump won. He's okay. your president. He's my president, yes, which I already know he will be. Uh, but anyway. No, he is. He is the Don't president. Don't play. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, he we'll is. I forgot. Okay. We'll play right, the game. Okay. It's a game. Okay, so the answer, how is he on foreign policy? No, how, how is he going to conduct it? Is he going to listen to anybody? He listens. He's listened to his general. He's got General Flynn by, yeah, by, by him all the time. He's got over 200 admirals and generals. Most of them have been fired from the Obama um, camp, you know, uh, camp. Uh, that are on board. These are a lot of warriors that have records of being war fighters. So he'll listen. But see, he's already made it clear in his national security that um, 
Syria is a civil war. We have Pardon no, me? Syria, there's a civil war going okay. on there. Yeah. The American blood should not be shed. In He's any, not going to send any troops for, okay. Syria, for a, a civil war. I have a question to ask you before you go on. You said that, uh, now I'm a little worried about that because Trump is president, so mm -hmm. that us Democrats are a little worried. And our problem is, is with all the 200 supposedly fired admiral, admirals, generals, etc., all warriors, uh, don't you think they might get us in a little trouble? Not at all. Not is he going to listen to people who are peaceful? No, because if Hillary won, then what would have happened is Russia is mad at her because in 2011 she interfered in their election. So Russia is threatening a war with the United States if Hillary is the president. Excuse me. So I'm excuse glad me. Trump I, I, won. Excuse me. During the campaign, I never heard that Russia was going to have a do, war with the United States. Look, do a Google search on a YouTube on Russian President Putin conversation with the news in Russia just about three weeks ago. That he would have war with the United that States. he's talking about war with the United States, if Hillary. Don't we find the YouTube for you? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Look, the he's election, doing the news. Listen, the election is over, but we must both admit. Now, he's, you know, Trump is president, but we must most, both admit. There's a little exaggeration on both sides going on. Not on my side, because what I bring out is what I've actually viewed and said. Excuse me. Uh, Putin never said he would go to war are if... You, are you calling me a liar? He's president. Are you... He, you, know the, you know the problem with you Republicans? Are you calling me you a liar? You got... Trump is your president. Can't you be civil? I am, but I'm being I honest. I just said, asked you, don't the Republicans and the Democrats both exaggerate a little? Yeah, but the thing is... But, so that's not an exaggeration. Well, maybe they may, Hillary and Trump do. But what I say is what I've actually viewed. Excuse me, Putin never said he would start a war with the United States if Hillary won. He would, wait a minute, all right, let, let us try to reword that. He might say, if I ever got in the war, it would be Hillary who is president. Look, don't look it up on YouTube, it's all over, my friend. Talk. No, I know it's all over, but I just want to, Vladimir Putin, if Hillary Clinton wins the war, um, okay, uh, why Putin fears the Clinton presidency. There's so much stuff right here. Okay, then there's other YouTubes on her um, interference. So we're lucky yeah, we, Trump well, won. No, 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 hold on a second. Putin yes, hates but Hillary. Know, but if Hillary would so have won, Trump won, she wouldn't, he wouldn't have started a war. Don't say that. But because now okay, I, you've got I, a president. Okay, we're president. He's your I, president. I won't say it, but Google search it. Yeah, but, show who's but Al, who's right. maybe one of the problems the Democrats have been doing is they've been believing the Internet. And maybe if the Democrats didn't believe the Internet or believe themselves, Hillary would be president. Yeah. You now are on the Internet. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I have never seen this before. This, I swear to God this is factual. Ads during the campaign. Al Baldassaro was standing next to Trump. Trump had a positive message. Hillary had the same picture with Al Baldassaro, and it was a negative message. You're the only one I know who, mm -hmm. had, who did both. You know, you ought to get, you ought to, you ought to where, get where that. Where is that on TV? Was it on oh, it's all over. For God. It? Six, I haven't seen that. I've been gone. I was with Trump earlier today in Atkinson. Yeah. And I was with Ivanka Trump yesterday. Yeah, no, 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 you, last week. Last week, oh, yeah, okay, that's right, last, last week. week. Yeah, okay. okay. Why are we, people are smarter than the average bear. Yeah, but nobody's here. Yelling. But we're, this, the election is over yeah, when they see this. in your own mind. Play the game. But you want me to play a game in your own mind and, uh, you know, that it's over. By that, the time they just, see this, the election is you, over. Trump won. Since we're playing the game, will you, you really? Can't even, like, he will can't you be even able win. To handle it? Will you be able to handle it, uh, Trump won? Are you going to leave uh, the country? Well, no, 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 no. Hold on a second. Did you say you were going to leave excuse the country me, if Trump me, won? No, no, excuse me. He won the election. Wait a minute, okay. wait a minute. Republicans must stop running. Your candidate won. Trump is going to be president. I'm asking you about him. Okay. I never said I'd leave the country. Okay? In okay. fact, I got reelected. I thought you'd go I to China. I came in third. I usually come in first. I came in third. Can you imagine that? Well, what did you come in? 
I, I came in first. So I'm not, I think I came in second this time. Oh, came in second. Well, I, I used to come yeah. in first mm -hmm. all the time, yeah. but... I'm trying to hear... Um, I came in. To, okay, so I went. Now, the question is... CNN. Oh, please. Well, I keep having a problem with it, but this is CNN here. It talks okay. about Putin and uh, on war with Hillary. They don't like each other. Okay, they may not so like we'll, each no, other, but, what I, reason but I bring both this up, of them are not stupid. The reason I brought this up was because Trump won, so now we don't have to worry about going to war with Russia. Maybe we can work out our differences with like Russia. What, well, like having Russia leave Crimea? Well, we are, yeah, leave Crimea and, uh, you know, and also... And not uh, take over other... And, let the civil war go on its own there with uh, the Assad and the revolution. Well, I thought the president was doing pretty good. He he, he sent no. in hits. No. He sent in. No, the president was not doing good. What happened is the president was pressured to do uh, more because uh, of uh, his line in the sand. If you use gas about eight, nine months ago or a year, he never did nothing. Look, you're, if you use you're saying he never did he anything. Did and doing nothing. He finally is doing something. The fact of the matter is, they're almost they they have taken Mosul or part of Tell the majority why. of it, and they did it with the Americans. Why is it taking them five years? When Jordan came to us looking, King Jordan came to us looking for arms, help, and he ignored him. Um, Jordan's not fighting. Yeah, Jordan is too. We just had a uh, couple of veterans today got killed with Jordan next to the people from Jordan. Yeah, no, they, you, you know. You just throw the stuff out just, no, to, no, just what, to say what, something? No, one of the reasons why it's now really, truly, directly, okay, the two parts of the Muslims, there are two sections of Muslims, mm -hmm. were not getting together. They were fighting mm -hmm. with one another. They've got together with Turkey and other people. Now they're all fighting right. for the same thing, they're and that is ISIS. to get rid of right. ISIS. the enemy of my enemy is my right. friend. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Now, supposedly Saudi Arabia was funding, and Yemen were funding ISIS. Now, what I heard today on Fox News, and um, you know, and there was some WikiLeaks stuff that was out, that they're funding Yemen and Saudi funding ISIS, but yet I don't understand it. Saudi's fighting ISIS on their border, in their area. So it makes no sense. Saudi is fighting ISIS yes. on their border? On their, yeah, in their area. Well, they that's not troops. good. Yeah, they, we we got to go to them. Well, we got to go help them. But I'm saying they send yeah. troops, uh, you know, out to uh, take them out. Oh, uh, absolutely. You know, we don't. But, we don't need that. But now, I, I have a. I have a question to mm -hmm. you. Uh, he's your president, Trump. He did say he wanted to give other countries nukes. Do you think he's going to keep to that? No, he never said he wanted to give other country nukes. What he said was, I want other countries to be able to themselves. But he said he was going to give Japan. He own. thought Japan should have a nuke. No, well, Japan is a peaceful country, and it's in their uh, constitution. They don't have a military, or they don't. They won't protect themselves. It's a shame. But they're not paying us. We're building their economy by the uh, veterans over there spending money in their renting apartments, eating there, sleep, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, you know, in their but quality of life. But, but Japan mm -hmm. is also a kind of a military right. thing, so mm -hmm. and it's right next to China, so that's good. Right. I think, uh, yeah, because China is uh, threatened by Thailand and other countries, and with Taiwan in those threatened. areas. Yeah, they are because how they, can they be threatened? Because they want to take them over. They want. Them yeah. Okay. Involved well, they're not China. threatened by them. Well, no, they they are because of their democracy. So yeah. democracy is Demo a threat because China is a socialist country. Yeah, so, yes. So so you they're not. Threatened you like know, they're going to go bomb there. them. I mean, you should know that. No, no I know no. that. I know no, they're not. They have that, you know, well, military near China their believes no. that Taiwan is a part of China. Mm -hmm. Hold on. And also, Japan is right. the same. Now, what I want you to do, since we should be happy that Trump is the president in this game, that yep. you're playing. Okay. If you did a Google search on did Putin say he would start a war if Hillary wins. I want you to look at all the articles that come up here. Look, CNN, truth, look, look, truth. Okay, ex ex on the truth, ex uh, ex excuse know, me. fact check. Excuse me. The election's over. Right. And the reason no, why no, Trump on. won. Wait a minute. Wait, you made a point. The election is over, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Yes. Now, we should not believe anyone writing or saying that if Hillary became president, Putin would go to war with her. Well, tell me how they tell Google to erase all the articles that came out there from CNN. Um, the, 
uh, fact check. Well, what would they do? Ledger. Would they nuke us? How do you get rid of it? Excuse me, would they no, nuke us? I don't know. I don't know. He made a, he made a well, statement. Well, he wouldn't go to war. Putin, Putin made a statement that was unsaid. I didn't like his statement that he made. Well, but anyways, well, he's that, been helping Trump the, all the way now along. Now that the war is over, this is the reason. What we did was we end corruption. That's why everyone voted for Trump since the war is over. We end the corruption within the Clinton Foundation and within the um, thing. But see, what got him over the top was woman for Trump. Uh, and why he, why Hillary got more women is because Trump was accused of taking advantage of 12 wo women. And you may remember that bus thing with uh, Billy Bush saying mm -hmm. that if you tic tacs this and you could grab someone because you were famous. Uh, so mm -hmm. they didn't get all the women. Well, actually, uh, right now you, you'd be surprised with all the women that have been showing up. Right? Just today, unbelievable, the women. All the women signs that were in the Atkinson Country Club uh, today, where they have the Trump uh, was there today. Uh, well, which, you were there was last week. Last week, yeah, that's right. Okay. Last week, where right. I forgot we're playing a game. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm impressed with all the women there, and all the women uh, came yeah, out. Well, well, definitely more women came out yeah. than we, we were, thought. We were fortunate because Trump won New Hampshire. He led in the polls there today. You know, the day it uh, was close. Yeah, he led in the polls. It there. was close. And I called it with Trump today because I said to him five points. If you look at his speech today, I said you'll win New Hampshire by five points. I mean, last week when I whatever. Yeah, I, you were there <laughs> last week. Yeah, and, and I you, said, and I said to Trump, I called. I said you'll win by five points. He said five points. I said I should be more. Yeah, that sounds like. Yeah. Right. Have you uh -huh. had a ride in this jet yet? No, not yet. I was supposed to go with him, but. Uh, because my wife got sick and uh, oh, you yes, know, yes, had cancer, yes, yes. so yes, so she's doing my, very well. Yeah, she's doing very well, and my priority was my wife versus the election. So Second, I had to sure. take some time off and spend time with her and get it through well, the rough time. Well, I think I think honestly, they wanted you to take a t little time off. No, not at all. Yeah, uh, because no, but well, in, in between, we, while you, I was here, you now know, wait. One of the military wait, people. Will you hear me for a second? Go ahead. In between, while I was here taking care of my wife. I did go to St. Anselm. I was on Fox Business. I was on Fox, on Lou Dobbs' show. I was on, um, I did a special with HBO, okay? So, no, I was still out doing it. I did a speech in Rhode Island, but I drove there and then came back the same day, you know what I mean, uh, for a fundraiser for Trump that I was the guest speaker because Trump couldn't make it. So, no, that's not true what you just said. What? That I, that because of what I said, I was out of the picture. That had nothing to do with it. I, well, uh Okay, Did but you, hear you must admit that one of the great generals in history, when they hacked, when Russia supposedly did hack, you know, the emails of a general, you know, right? Colin Powell. And, and it was Colin Powell, say, and he called you what? Call me a crazy. A crazy. Because I exercised my freedom of speech and came form an opinion on what my opinion, in accordance with the law, that Hillary Clinton was guilty of treason. So people want political correctness. When you, the Democrats, when they want this facts that people are saying and they're speaking their mind, freedom of speech, they don't like it. They call you racist. They call you, you know, homophobe. They call you everything hey, in the book. Hey, Al, you guys want it now. You guys want it. it. So it made no difference what, what Colin Powell said. I mean, <coughs> let's face it, Colin okay. Powell. No. And, and you know, it surprises me. The president was out. Mm -hmm. The vice president was out. Mm -hmm. Okay, the vice president for Kane was out. I forgot the well, veterans, veterans for Trump. Okay, in and the they military, were all... over sixty percent of the veterans in the military supported Donald Trump. I just thought I'd throw it out there. Well, why the, he won? I think you're probably almost correct, but that's not in totally. But they, I am they're correct. saying it's around. 60%. I'm using last week numbers in the uh, military times. No, you're not using last. Yeah, week's I'm using numbers. last week numbers in the military times. Uh, no. Yes. No, no. That's today is not last week. I know, but I'm not. But the numbers on why yeah, I think Trump won. Today is next week. But why I think Trump? Next. Today is veterans, next week, and your candidate won. Because the vet. Yeah, my candidate won. Okay. The veterans pushed him over. I have a question. Can the Republicans stop this? Rhetoric? They're not going to be like you. I, I, your candidate won, and yet you're, you know, you're still attacking Hillary. Because uh, the, the House Republican uh, made it clear, and the FBI made it clear that this uh, investigation is going to go on for a while. And did you hear on the news Can't this morning? Can't you celebrate 
the, can't you celebrate your win? Do you have to still keep this war going on? No, I can't because I have a son who's in the Marine Corps and national security was attacked. They just kind of, they came out today, but you will play the game last week. And they said Hillary's server was, um, what do they call it when they attack it? I'll go into it. Hacked. Hacked five times by five different places. Well, you know, I didn't read that, nor did I hear it. I did. You was that bring, misinformation? Do you want to bring that up for you on CNN? No, no. Yeah, but I'm saying I'll look, bring it up for look, last week I, in CNN. Look, ladies and gentlemen, Trump won. Here is probably one of the reasons Remember, why this is a game won, now. Is because these people are crazy. They will do anything. They will See, say anything. I knew They're that. even believing the internet. You have won. Can you now settle down? For all practical purposes, this is a game. Today is the <sighs> what's today? The fifth, right? Or the fourth? Today's the fourth of November. This is a game that we're playing, so people understand. Okay, if you get confused on this here. I know the Democrats, are some are a little slower than others, but we do have some great Democrats out there that are smarter than the average bear. Okay, let me... Let, let, now, let tell me, me, let, let now me Hillary won. I hey, know, go ahead, play the game. Me. Hillary won. I know that he is nuts about Trump. This show is on... We're doing the show before the campaign. We're trying to play the game of Trump I, won, Hillary won. I hate he games. He can't get it. Because I love facts. But I, this is the way you I you love won. facts. I don't like okay. hypothetical. All right. So in my opinion, right. if now, you Hillary guys won. keep this up, okay. he's a loser. Now, Hillary won. Go ahead. Hillary won. Go ahead. Get, get to your point. What are you trying to prove here? Hillary won. Go ahead. What are you trying to prove? No. You're supposed to say, I'm sorry. Trump did his best, but Hillary won. Okay. He, she shouldn't have won. All right. I'm sorry. Hillary. Uh, Trump did his best, and Hillary won by... Cheating, but go ahead. See, you can't, you can't <laughs> stop. He just, he just can't stop. Uh, but I've got. All right. Uh, yeah. I. There are suggestions now mm -hmm. after this whole war is over mm -hmm. that no, I no, no, I don't know how much this is true. It, it's on the internet, but you can't believe it, the internet that Hillary is asking Trump for advice. Because he does, you know, you well, know you, stuff all over the world to build on the how to redo these sort of contracts and treaties and everything. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Hillary wins. Trump wins. We win. We all win. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. It was a tough fight. you got to admit she fought tough. Yeah. Hillary now, ladies and gentlemen, is the president of the United States. She's the first woman president of the United States. Now... As a Trump person, can you say anything nice about Hillary? Um, no, she's the commander in chief, and the House is, and the FBI will continue with their investigation because no matter, thank, you know, she won, God bless her, but national security prior to her running was uh, attacked, her server five times attacked. Um, I think the FBI is going to probably indict her. She'll be the first sitting president well, that's impeached. Well, uh, you know, I, I think, no, she's not going to be the first yeah, president I mean, to be impeached. That, well, Clinton was impeached by the All House, right, but okay. the Senate didn't. Yeah. yeah uh, and then Nixon you, resigned. You know, why? The fight is over. Can you just take a couple days or a week off? Do you guys have to still play this game? Isn't that the problem that we've been having? That after the election is over, one party or the other party keeps fighting and as if they're, as if they're still in a campaign, calling people names, putting things on the internet. Hillary as president of the United States. I got a question. What's that? Now your wife. My now wife. she was purely Trump. Trump mm -hmm. lost. Hillary. Is she kind of proud that a, a woman is not president. Is she proud? Do you want me to lie? No, because tell the truth. Because it's a game. No, she's not proud. Because okay, it's a woman. It's not yeah, Hillary. It's it a woman. Oh, if there was a woman that other than Hillary, then she would be proud. Okay, so she still doesn't like Hillary at all. No, because she believes Hillary was is a criminal. Okay, well, Hillary won. Can you have say anything nice about her? Um. I just said a whole bunch of nice things. Like what? What did you say nice about Trump? We, no, no, no. Tell me what you said I, nice I, about Trump. I lost it. I'm sorry. Tell me what you no, said nice Hillary about Trump. Hillary won. Trump lost. Okay. All right, but tell me uh, on the other part, game, part of your game, what did you say we'll, nice about we'll, Trump? We'll do that a little later. That's Let's play this game. That's what I thought. All right. 
Okay, you so Hillary is President of the United States. What do you fear that she will do? One thing. Will you stop playing with that damn no. thing? The reason why I, with that damn I wanted thing. to bring up something here on the Daily Beast is one of the most liberal Will sites in the country. Will you stop the FBI, listening to the The internet. FBI says Hillary Clinton's private server got hacked. Okay, but go ahead. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, no. see, this is, this is why Republicans and Democrats can't get together. Actually, we can. I, winners. Actually, we can. Okay, winners. Okay, we're the winners. Did you and they I. They came in second. Hey, they didn't lose. They came in did second. Did I cross the line and come over and uh, co-sponsor? You co-sponsored a bill that I sponsored. Uh, we talked about it. You wrote it up. Yes. Yes, and you, we did. All right. right. Shall we tell them what it is? You tell them. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, um, our state house was not at all had any protection at all. In other words, you would walk in, okay, and the guard would be sitting there. He was not armed in any way. People from around the country would say, "How come there's no? How come there's no? You know, detectives, et cetera, et cetera." Also. All doors, we could, everybody could walk in. Now we have mm -hmm. to use a, a pass to get in. Did and that's you because of you. Did you get a pass card? No, we'll, we'll get yeah, it. Yeah, because I didn't we'll get one. So it was because of you, mm -hmm. and I played a part also. We right. worked together. Yeah. Now, on now this, the, is where gun, this is where guns belong. Now, what I'm trying to say here in the, is in the hands you of the made, I, I brought that up, and just like with Catherine Rogers, who's one of the biggest liberals in the house, who's my friend, she's from Concord, her and I co-sponsored a few bills together. Okay, on the elderly protection bill because of the scams and other stuff. There was actually no law in New Hampshire that they could charge somebody that scammed or a family member that scammed an elderly. Now we have a law. But the reason I'm bringing these up, you and her, is because you made a statement earlier. This is what I'm talking about, that Republicans don't work with the Democrats. And I just showed you wrong again. Yeah, but Hillary won, and you're still fighting a battle. Can't because, you stop fighting the battle? Because I lose sleep over the fact that well, we have a president who is a criminal, who I have fellow veterans sitting in jail, uh, one for a year for taking pictures on a submarine, another one for a piece of class C, a Navy SEAL for taking a, p a picture of a classified training manual. Okay, he's facing up to a couple of years in jail a classified training manual so he can study it for his test. He took a picture yes, of but, a section. Yes, but, but now uh, as so you think we should Hillary forgive and won and Trump lost, we're starting to learn a great deal about his taxes. So should we, yeah, we, we, I'm sure we and, will. And by the way, we learned that he and by the way, we found out at the end of the election mm -hmm. that he himself got in lots of trouble throughout the war, thousands of now, times, they, now, and they threw away they, the emails. In this game. They wouldn't. In this game, I'm not going to let you throw a lies in the game, okay? Because none of that ever happened. You're not, okay? So none it, of that ever happened. No, none of it never Why happened. Why don't you look it up? Because you want me to look it up? What do you want me to look up? You Tell know, me what to look up. You know, Al, for those people who just tuned in or, or turned off, right. I don't know. Okay. We're playing a game. I hate this games. This is before the election. I, I we hate played games. Trump won. Hypothetical. Okay? We're prime, trying to play. Hillary won. This will be seen after the election. But you're asking play me, the game. But you're asking me to play a game and be nice and say you don't want to be nice. And because she's a criminal, okay, she, it, it should that be. our first our first president that ever got elected that and being investigated by the FBI and possibly going to be indicted. You want me to play a game? You want me to lie and say no? Everything's peaches and green. Okay, she's the president of the United States. This hasn't happened. We'll find out. I don't think it will happen, but we'll find out. Okay. Now, do you have anything nice to say about her? Yeah, I hope she picks a good uh, conservative uh, a judge that will go with the Constitution. You know something? How about the judge that uh, Obama put up? I don't know. He's, he's a liberal. No, he's a no, liberal. no, no, no. He was, it was bipartisan that both Republicans and Democrats like this guy. And in fact, the word is that he was too conservative, and Hillary might he's already, take him off. He's already got issues on Second Amendment rights uh, as a judge. We already know that. So we already have issues here with safe so places. So you want to put in another one? What, what we need is a judge that's not going to interpret. Who do you think? 
Do you, you, do you know anybody? I don't know. There was a, the Heritage uh, came out with about 20-something judges that uh, Trump used. He took their recommendations on that a real yes, conservative. The heritage is, let me, is, is let me explain. Group. Let me explain to you. Now. Let me explain to you why it's important to me that we have the right Supreme Court justice. Obama did an executive order, okay, and I and I think he had good intentions, but the thing is, I disagree with what he did. Uh, he wants to help all the illegals that broke into our country, so that's his view, and I have a different view. Now, he wrote an executive order that is the same as law. The Republicans took the president to court. It went to the lower courts. They all said it was unconstitutional. When it went to the Supreme Court, Judge Scalia passed away. Four U.S. Supreme Courts went against all the lower courts and said they were constitution. He has the right to make laws through executive order. Mm. But Four, it was the Republicans wait, who would not vote in a judge. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let me finish what I'm saying. It has Go nothing ahead. to do with voting in a judge. Because it would have been five, okay, liberal judges voting. Four said the executive order was constitutional, a president can use an executive and order four said no. and make law. Four said no. If there was a fifth judge that went with those four, our country, we would not need a Congress because a president could write executive orders no, for laws. No, that, that's not true. In fact, no, in fact we know that, uh, you're that George me I'm wrong? W. Bush used more executive no, laws. but he than, never made laws. He, he, it was sent, he sent somebody to the U.N., be you and president, he okay. wrote it in. That there, because under the Constitution or under the um, the U.S. codes there, or whatever they went by, when they were, this is the catch there, what happened. When the Congress is in recess, that's why they don't do it anymore, they learn from that. When they're in recess, then the um, a president, because they're in recess, can make an appointment. Okay, let, for, you see yeah, what I'm saying? We're getting, we're getting too complicated. Right. Let's uncomplicate it. No, but, but the American people no, understand. What you're saying is this. Obama did the same there thing. Is, there is four judges, one, four judges, two. Right. If they can't come to any agreement, it goes back. No, it goes the back decision to the court. of the lower court stands. That's what I said. Right. It don't go back. Well, I, okay, it goes back to the made. lower court. Right. Now. What did you think? It was going back to No. What I'm, saying is, what I'm saying is once the Supreme Court makes a decision and there's four and four, the lower court uh, decision stands. They don't go back to the courts. Yes, it's already you, decisions why made. Are you, why, are, why are you so crazy about this? No, it's not that I'm crazy. See, there you go again, a typical Democrat. Because I brought up fact on what could have happened to our country, you, a president writing executive orders that are laws goes against our three branches of government. Hillary as President, don't you think that she's going to work, try to work across, you know, the, the, and work with both Republicans and Democrats? Well, any president's going to have to. Any well, president. Well, that's... Any president. Obama tried that didn't work with you oh, guys, no, yes, with he the did. Republicans. In the first two years, he had a Democrat, okay? Okay. And then what happened is a lot of Democrats that voted in Obamacare got voted out. All right. Okay, because so, the Republicans took over after the second after the oh second term of him. All right. So and, you're under the. You know something? You know why this whole thing is nuts why? about the judges? Why? Do you know we had a Supreme Court justice Souter, mm -hmm. who who nominated him? Right. Um, Bush did, I think it was. Bush did. Yeah. He got in. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. But Souter goes on Four both sides. Four or five. Four or five decisions right. didn't go the way the Republicans, the Republicans wanted, wanted. But then many others went the way the Republicans wanted. Okay, in accordance with the Constitution. Oh, 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 oh crap. Yeah, no, no, so, no, that's, that's So correct. he went back that's, and that's forth. Correct. Yeah, he went back and forth. But th what I'm trying to say is that it's interesting that a lot of these people who get in there and start looking at the law become conservative. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people get in there and take a look at the law, see it differently than the mm -hmm. conservatives. And that's the way it should be. Right. Because many of us, okay, comply with the Constitution. That's what it's about. I'm the former chair of the House Republican Alliance. We make our decisions. If it's constitutional, we support. If it's unconstitutional, we go against it. Okay, on any legislation in New Hampshire. Well, okay, this is no, the, New Hampshire, hold, hold, hold. the New Hampshire Constitution yeah, hold, hold, right here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on we a know. Second. you got a 20% no, no, vote. No, no, hold, hold on a second. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What a lot of people don't know at the State House is this. There is what is called a report card. Yes. All right? 
the Republican people. No, now, nobody no, can read all the laws. Don't say people. Republican me, House. The Republican uh, House. All right. HRA. Nobody can read all the laws. So, we when do. a person stands That's up. That's not true. So, we read the laws. Excuse me. You read. You personally yeah, read no, every law. No, we have a. I have a site on my on my computer. I am trying. That goes twenty four hours a day. We got all the duty I experts. I am trying to make a point. Okay, yeah, make your point, but, right. but be truthful. People up there, it's impossible for everyone to really read everything and study it. So usually, how it goes is the person who gets up to you know to speak. Other people learn a little, and they kind of vote like that. All right? That's how it went. Mm -hmm. Now, a very, 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 very small group mm -hmm. takes it over. They're given a piece of paper, and if they don't vote by the okay. paper, they get bad marks. Now, let me correct if you. If they don't vote by the paper, let they me pull them you. out, and they give them hell, and they put them back. Me. That happened to a Republican okay. that sat right in front of me. Let me correct what he just said now. He's, he's totally wrong. There was a group of us, a large voting block of Republicans that are real conservatives, okay, because we overturned a lot of bills there that were spending bills and other stuff on the House floor. Now, we sit, we meet every Tuesday morning at the State House, and we go through every bill. There was 800 and something you last. You can't go through let every me, bill. Let me try this one more That's time. That's not the truth. Let me try this one more time, okay? We meet every Tuesday morning. And we go to every bill. We have a 24-hour website, and we have lawyer, we have an educator, we have others that put their input and dissect certain all the bills here on whether we take a position on every yeah, bill. Yeah, like taking every a position bill. and not giving money to people earlier, or giving it to like who? Giving it like to, who? Giving it to like the, what? Explain the yourself. State so they could give it to the police so they could help them with a drug problem. They voted that down. No, we didn't. Yes, they did. No, and we then, didn't. And then they no, voted you just told a lie. Because no, guess what? They you, went against no. the lie people hey, who tells everybody You what just to do. told a lie because it was the Democrats that voted against the budget with the money for the drug programs and the money for the you, 25 you, you, beds you at the VA you know, you know, you know and the Sununu you know, House. You know something? you got to stop Did you vote this? against the budget? You have to stop Did this. you vote down Hold the budget? Hold on a second. What he's Am not wrong? telling you Am is I wrong? a woman has Ken? the right to her own body. Ken? Ken? It's a federal Ken? law. Ken? They threw that into the budget. Ken? And if the governor would have signed it, abortion rights would have been gone in the United Ken, States. Was, that is the truth. It wasn't even in the that budget. That is the truth. Ken, it wasn't even there. You're, you're it wrong. It was Ken. an attachment Ken? that was connected. Ken, no, it wasn't. You guys. Ken. You're not being honest. Yeah, you just, I'm being really you just, honest. You just threw out some BS that you would think people That's are going to believe. Yeah, yeah, they do believe you it. You do. Yes. Yeah, they do believe it. The contract was the they, federal they money that came in from the uh, federal government that the uh, oh, executive God. council I, 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 voted know, for. You know, look, why do we have to argue about the same thing? Because you guys you never, screwed up Obamacare here in the, in the state of New Hampshire. Because you never tell the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what Can. they did? They Can. passed a law making Can. it illegal that we could have an insurance exchange. Can. So the okay. government gives it to the insur insurance Ken. exchange. Let's make believe it. Let's Instead, they gave it to an insurance Ken. company, and they took one hospital away. One was from no, Ken. Don't. They took one from Nashua. But we got most of it back. If you believe, That's the truth. If you believe that, I got some beachfront property in 29 Palms in California okay. that I'll sell you. All right. Okay, now, answer Hillary me. No, I, won. You never answer my question. Wait a minute. Did you vote against a budget that had $850 million more spending that the governor wanted. She got 95% of what she wanted. What she didn't get was pay raises. Did you vote against that budget? I and then later on, voted when she got the pay raises. The budget okay. when they took out the amendments that had okay. women losing their rights. Don't believe me. Look up yourself yeah, there you, on the you budget, on the state up. budget. Please do. When the governor got her compromise on pay raises for state workers, then the word came down from the governor, told the Democrats, Vote to override my veto, because she got the pay raises. Meanwhile, eight hundred fifty okay. million dollars right. more okay. spending. Okay, all right, okay, all right. You heard it. She fought for pay raises. She knew by playing. They were playing politics. No, she played a little politics, and everybody got what they want, and that's why Kelly Ott lost. No pay pay raises when the gov when the state is struggling. To take care of what all these people dying with drug overdoses when we needed to get that money there.
pay raises when they veto the budget when we have 25 beds, veterans waiting to get into the VA uh, nurse in the uh, veterans home. Uh, pay raises over money going to the Sununu house to get children more bed space over there for mental health. Pay raises were more important. But you're right. Ladies and gentlemen, the problem with this gentleman who is a friend of mine. Am I and lying? I, and I like, Am I lying? No, you're not Am lying, lying, but in every single inconsistency, there's a little truth. Okay, don't forget the business but tax cuts. But there is cuts. a lot of lies. We put business tax cuts in there so we can attract more jobs and get our kids that are high college graduates that are working in restaurants in businesses working. That's what we did. My wife and I eat out a lot. Okay, because she's a hard worker, and I love my bride, and you know what I mean. So I meet more college kids. Okay, no, let's, let's get back to your game. Okay, guys. all right. Okay, get back to your Hillary game. won. Okay. What can she didn't? She I don't think she's going to get indicted. You think that you you I think, think she, okay? I think she will. You think she should work a yes. lot with mm -hmm. the uh, with, with with the House and in the Senate to elect? Excuse me, to elect <laughs> judges to the mm -hmm. Supreme Court. Is that right? Yeah, she's going to have Do to. you think she will? She's going to have to. I think she's going to have no choice okay. because per the Constitution, the general, the Senate ratifies the, um, uh, gives the approval on the, on the Supreme Court. She, okay. She puts her uh, So you don't have, forward. so why were you complaining because, during the election because, that she would? Because she will put forward liberal judges. It was an election judges. argument. She will put forward liberal judges there because right now in our country what's going on, you have liberal colleges right now that are, fighting to give kids safe spaces from freedom of speech so they can't hear what people are saying. You, you, know, know, you know something? You don't believe what I you just know said? Something, and, Am I wrong? And in, it, 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 Am I the wrong? The interpretation is this. Am I wrong? There are people from other planets who are walking around. You are so far Am out, I wrong? Of, out Am of this I wrong world. About students and the protests that have been going on in different colleges for safe spaces. I don't believe this. Am I wrong? I absolutely. I'm asking you right I now. I got a question. I want the people to the know. The elections Am I wrong? are over. Okay. Can you stop and be nice for a little while because the people are sick of it? No. It's over. Hillary won. Now, will you get it, off your high horse? It, this is the game you're playing, and I understand. But I have to be honest here because I will feel that since Hillary won, that we elected a criminal. Got it. Okay. All That's right. why I in the All right. Okay. All right. Well, the majority, uh, a majority, believed that she wasn't, but that's okay. And, but I'll tell you what, you did so well. Why did all the women who voted for her didn't listen to the women who are groped by by him? By him? Why? You know some. I mean, I thought you heard him come off another the bus. Hy another hy hypothetical situation here in your game, because what you're doing is leading people to think in your game that Donald Trump grow people. Now, many of those women have been defunct, okay, on their comments here. People came out and said it was incorrect, okay? So why would you even keep bringing up Donald Trump with those women? Well, well, you, they all came out you once. just brought up that, 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 that you're... My people, mm -hmm. most of the right. people, the since, most of the women voted for, yeah. okay, Hillary. Since Hillary's the president, did you in, see Donald in, Trump this morning filed and took him all to court for lying, for defamation of character? Did you notice that? I Donald don't think he'll be doing Donald that. Donald Trump took him all to no, court this morning. I don't think morning. he'll be doing since, that. Since the no, hypothetical. No, I heard that, but he won't do that. It's in the newspapers no, today, right? Well, the well, election's I, over. Well, first of all, I'll... T this I'll, is the game. Play well, the game. Look, Why are you disagreeing? We absolutely know uh -huh. that one lady from People Magazine, when who, it happened, told works, everyone immediately... Who works for Huffington so, Post. Well, I don't who know Who works for works. Huffington Post. Right. Okay, yes. It's I a got setup. A, I got a question. Can... Are all the people... Hillary wins. Why are you guys so angry? Because Can't you be happy? Can't you contribute now? Can't you say, hey, Hillary, no. please, let's, you let's work why? together. You, you don't want to work why? together with her? Because the moderate Democrats switched to, um, to Trump, but not enough of them did for Hillary to win in your hypothetical world. Okay? The progressives and the liberals, the far left next to socialism, all supported her, and they blocked their eyes, their mouth, and their ears on her criminalistic activities that have gone on. The pay for so play. groping women is not criminal. No, no, he never said groping women. 
He said they let me. That was in his words verbatim. He let them. They, they women, because of his stardom, they let him, he said. They he let him. Let, that was in his words. But you because all Because of his stardom. Because, right. So now you admit he did it. When I was a young uh, bachelor. No, excuse me. Now you admit he did it. When I was a young bachelor, women it, used to grab it, me by it, my butt excuse and other me. stuff. It, used to pinch me. <laughs> excuse you know, me. And, uh, so it's okay. I was a good looking guy know, when no, I was young. I know, young. but what you just said is what Trump said that he did what because saying, they let him. So he did it. But you're going to tell me when he you've gone it. out on dates with women or women didn't, you know, uh, say, you know come across you or to you or him. We're talking about groping, and you no, said no, they let him. No, the definition of groping is, you know, what I believe here is, you know, what he's talking about, you know what I mean, is totally different in your perverted mind, okay, because you come across as a saint, okay, and you're far from Excuse a me? saint. That's right. You come, I come across as a saint? Across, yeah, because you want people to If think, I was a saint, why did I if, come in if, third if instead they, of first? If they only heard the language that comes out of your mouth. I I'm disgusted that I have to hear it. You know what's interesting? My language is nothing compared to what he's doing right now. What I am mean, I you're, doing? You're, what am I doing right now? You believe the, every single no, thing. No, no. I did a Google search, right? And guess I, what? All guess I what? typed in was, was Hillary Clinton serve a breach? There's 30-some articles all come up. Look at it all. All come up on yet yeah, 99% chance foreign agencies, Fox News. Chance. Um, w, New York Times. Chance. Hillary Clinton's email was probably hacked, the experts say. Probably. Experts say. Now listen probably. to me what I'm saying. Probably. This is coming from the FBI. Recently uncovered her new, new emails, potentially related. Unworked. Oh, wait a minute. They were Pol more worked. Potentially. Her and Yuma signed an affidavit wait, her, saying. Her, potentially, Trump did grope women. Right. But it's going to come. No, it didn't. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where is the proof? Where's the proof that Hillary did all those it's, things? It's right here. It, no, no, no. Hold on a second. No, right there. It, no, York, it doesn't say. It says potentially. It, because the FBI, there's little leaks coming out of the FBI. The New York Times hates Trump. They constantly tear Excuse him me? up. The New York Times. Oh, and the FBI loves Trump they, because they, it's called Trump land. No, that's, uh, please. You know, you're, you're all unbelievable. FBI Director James B. Comey said on Tuesday that his investigation had no direct evidence that Hillary Clinton's email account has been successfully hacked. Now listen, both private experts and federal investigators immediately understood his meaning. It very likely had been breached, but the intruders were far too skilled to leave evidence of their work. You know, la you know, you you know, la you know ladies and gentlemen, I have some knowledge about computers if a computer is open anyway, okay, and something has been taken from, all right, really, okay, that it's not recorded. It says you nowhere have, that it was no, recorded. You have no, no you know, something? Why it do says, you take it, because, potentially as Because truth. it says right here. What does it okay? say? It says, described in fairly blistering terms, a set of email practices that left Mrs. Clinton's system wide open to Russians and Chinese hackers and an array of others. She had no full-time cybersecurity professional monitoring on her system. She took her BlackBerry everywhere she went, sending and receiving work-related emails in the territory. Who's writing that? This is the New York Times. Okay. This is, this is the Times. Does it say that it was breached, it was broken into? It says they, that she went into territories in her computer. You know, now, Hillary won. Do you know, Can't he stop? Do you know, Can the Republicans stop fighting? Hillary's the president of the United States. You know, Let people, it go. You know, my wife was telling me before, people can go into your computer from the outside and go in and copy your, your emails and everything. You would never know it. You know, you know unless you do well, a forensic. Hold on a I've been, I've been letting you, you for months talk about this. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to think you about this. You have no this. clue. No, I want you to think about this. My wife is a computer guru. I want guru. you to think about this. In that house, there is one former president of the United States. Who's useless. One secretary of state who has a server put in, and I'll guarantee you it wasn't the fly on the sky, guys riding around in white cars. No, professional, obviously. They're not that stupid. And guess what? It wasn't broken into. But you say potentially. No, no. I'm saying this. Oh, I'm saying God. the FBI. It's going to come out even oh, yeah, soon. No, it's going to come out soon. The FBI. Now, All right. my, my wife We're going to change wait, the subject. My wife is a geographical information system database administrator. She's one of the big geeks, my wife. 
okay? And she has no doubt in her mind when they talk about their computers being breached, and they said five times their computer's been breached. So that means there's a footprint. Wait, wait, wait. You there's a didn't footprint. read there's five a footprint. times it was breached. Yeah, it's in, yeah, it's in here. No, yeah. Yeah, you said it could have been breached five times. I'm reading here for Mr. Comey what he said. Read it. He doesn't say it was breached. Let me get to the section. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you, it just goes on. You guys won't stop. You know, Hillary is the president of the United States. Read between the lines. It says they in following can't stop Kobe's logic. Fighting. You just guys won't Listen, stop. You can't New let York it go. Times, it says the FBI. This is why believes, we're not going to get anything done the again. The FBI believes a compromise of Clinton's email is more likely than not. And said Ad, Adam Siegel, the author of Hacked World Order. Who study cyber issues at the Council on Foreign Relations. Wait, so wait, it didn't, didn't say it was tactics. hacked. This is an article. Okay, it didn't say it was hacked. Yeah, they're saying. Was, Nobody said it was hacked. They're saying she was a bridge. It, excuse me. She, what, when they you say, have not read anything when, in there. Wait, no. When they oh, say you were breached, there's uh, a I'll footprint. You. On your hard drive, there's a footprint in there in the code that identifies you were breached. Or, or there's another uh, IP address from somebody else. But no. They didn't dig in farther because the attorney general cut them off. She stopped them from going into the uh, Clinton Foundation and the oh, server. Oh, here we go again, the Clinton Foundation. Am I a liar? Yes, let, yeah, you know the Foundation. I, I the love truth? foundations. In fact, Trump had a foundation. And 100%. He gave money out. And you know whose money 100%. he gave out? 100%. Other people's money. 100% and you know what? went to the veterans. The New York state where the corporation was told him to stop because he wasn't doing it properly. He was doing it dishonestly. Because what, Stop hap it. what happened was he was registered with the federal government there, and somewhere along the line, somebody didn't renew the paperwork there for New York City. So since they've renewed the uh, documents that you have to file with the city. Okay, Okay, we're going to change go the subject. We're going to change in the subject. We're going to talk about the state of New Hampshire. What do you want to talk about, New All Hampshire? All right. Your control. In so your let us, ladies and gentlemen, we've been playing the game. Hillary won, Trump won. Okay? So I think this is what's going to happen if Hillary wins or Trump wins. Now, this show we're doing before the election, but it will not be seen till after the election. Right. So now we can talk about something that it will be up to date no matter well, let me what. Let you, have you filed any legislation yet? Um... When, when you had the opportunity to buy any bills? No. I did. What did you file? Uh, you remember the issue there with the Purple Heart veteran there that was on the news there where they uh, denied him and made him pay, pay for his uh, his plates, uh, his uh, registration, 100% disabled veteran? No, well, what, I didn't hear about well, that. Well, it was all over the newspaper about three, four months Were ago. Were they supposed to? So or? I put it out. No, what happened is there's a, there's a, uh, a change in the language that I have to do, and I filed the bill. To fix the language because if right now if you're a hundred percent disabled veteran or you're blind or you know um, crippled you get one car that you can register at no cost free no registration I didn't know that okay now it's for disabled people is this um, true yeah, yeah. total disabled total disabled right okay so right. in other words total disabled is somebody that's not veterans everyone veterans Oh, yeah. veterans. I'm, I'm going off the veterans law. okay we'll go to the veterans. okay I'm, I'm going off the veterans because that's what I specialize in now what happened is the veteran didn't want a handicap plate because the handicap plate you get 100 percent, okay? Or the veteran, or the vet, they're just a veteran's plate. Okay. You can get that, okay? At no cost. What happened? He wanted the purple heart because he got a, he got wounded a few times. He wanted he, it on the plate. He, no, he no, he didn't want anyone to have a wheelchair because he has the past. He fear of scams and other stuff. He didn't want to be you know identified by scammers with a wheelchair on his plate, you know, as a veteran because there's so many scams. That are going on. I have no idea what you, you lost me. Okay, well, so you you're, you're okay. Like so, I so, with so, tell, so what your what did you write? So, anyways, what I did was I filed legislation to take the language from the veterans plate and the disability plate with the wheelchair and moved it over to the POW plate to move it over to the uh, Purple Heart plate and other plates. Oh, you moved it? Plumber. Yes. Okay, you I moved, moved it. Okay. the language. You put so, them together. So those other plates. If you're a hundred percent disabled, yeah. you can have a choice of what veterans plate you want. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Is that well? Congratulations. Well, thank you. And you know where that will pass. Mm, you right. know that yeah. I'll, I will be there. But it, to pass. but it was an issue there that was uh, came out in the newspaper. Then I had to go back in just a couple of days ago and make a change to it because 
I got a call from Exeter from a veteran over there that, uh, and this was super thing. First thing, 10 years on the Veterans Affairs Committee, I never knew this. When you a veteran registers their car and all that qualify for the veterans plate, if you are, you're married, normally we have both our names. Like my wife and I, our names are on our cars. But my name is first, and then it says, or Judy Baldassau, in case I die. Yeah, she's yeah, She's got okay. the registration. All right, yeah. But anyways, what happened is his name was second. His wife was first on the registration. Oh, okay. So he didn't qualify to get the veterans okay. disability It was a, a glitch, like that. Right. Now, I went to the DMV, and I said, show me the law. There's no law. I said, how can you be doing this Did he here? get to play? No, what happened is that he had to go back in. They were going to charge him. Did you him. help him? I did, yeah. I did help him, but I got the DMV to waive the fee to change his D his registration over and his um, his title to put his name first or his wife. It's BS. That's great, and I'll tell you what, Al. Uh, we got two minutes left. Mm -hmm. But you see, that's a good thing. Uh, no, no. I and do you do you believe in gaming in the state of New Hampshire? What do you mean gaming? Yeah, I support, I support gambling. I don't gamble, but I support Well, it. I may be working with them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, we got to get rail up here, but you don't agree with a little guy. Right? I don't support the rail. You know, of course you don't. But how long does it take you to get home? Huh? How long does it take you to get home from here? From here, about 45, oh, traffic, and 45 minutes. And how far minutes. do you live? I live in Londonderry, but the traffic. So the, how much, uh, how far away? How far? It's probably about uh, 18 miles. 18, 18 miles, miles, 45 yeah. minutes? Yeah, maybe You six. don't think rail would be of service? No, not okay. at all. All right, well, no. I disagree the, with you. And the reason why, if the government didn't have to subsidize it. Will you stop it? Then I would support it. Ugh, if the, the government tax, subsidized if the, roads. If the, no, 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 they don't. That's BS. The, the roads are being paid by the do, gas do, tax. Do you know, ladies and the gentlemen? The gas tax collected. Okay, how can people get in touch with you? No, you don't want to go. We got a minute, that. thirty-three yeah, seconds. Come on. Time. The gas tax pays for the roads. All right. Okay. okay. Go ahead. All right. But that will be very will simple. Will you please tell people how they get in touch with you? They can get me on www.albaldasau.com. You can get me on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on uh, Twitter, or you can call me at four two five six nine nine seven, or come by my house at Forty One Hall Road, Londonderry. I. He's always saying that. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to pick up a bus. People do have come by. Excuse, and by excuse me. Will you serve coffee or something? Yeah, I have coffee all, all the right, time. All right, ladies and gentlemen. You I got, always have coffee. I'll, I'll let you know. Everybody can show up out front. We'll take a bus. A lot of my constituents right. stop by. My name is Ken Gidge. If you like the show or you don't like the show, know something that is factual. This is Access Television. If you want to come on and talk to us, argue with us, that's fine. You may. You can't do this any other place. You may not like our show, or you may like our show. You may like somebody else's show, but it's public access. Never let public access die. Amen. My name it is Ken Gidge. You can get me at Gidge World. I'm an artist. Links in. A con artist. Con hey, artist. Hey, links in. You know, did you see, remember the show last week? Ah, um, everybody. Hey, Donna Brazil. Remember you said that yes. she didn't give the questions to yes. Clinton? She got fired from she CNN for didn't giving the questions. She give the questions. She gave the He's questions. Goodbye. She got fired. You were wrong. You owe me. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer 
solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.